in today's video, we're going to talk about this tiny microphone. That's not just a microphone, but a whole recording studio in your pocket. Let's roll into the intro. Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel and today we're going to be talking about this very interesting microphone. So when the company reached out and asked if I would be interested to shoot a review video, I said hell no, because it's a microphone and it's boring. I mean, how much can you talk about the microphone? But when they explained what it actually is, I said we need a Zoom call right now. And trust me, as they were explaining me about the features and like what this thing actually is, my smile was getting bigger and bigger. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Kuchu, kuchu, kuchu. <laughs> What's up, bro? Kuchu, kuchu, kuchu. <laughs> now, as you guessed, this video is sponsored by Audigo. And as you know, if I accepted the offer, then the microphone has to be good, to say the least. But before we start, we have a very nice performance video somewhere in, in this video. Uh, it's a very cool performance and it shows the whole beauty of this mic. We use the microphone for pretty much every single instrument. So don't click away, otherwise you will miss it. Okay, now without further ado, let's dive into it. What is Audigo? Audigo is a smart microphone, a mobile app and a cloud service that work together seamlessly. You need to download the app and then sign up for an account on the app or on the website and then log into your account on the app and then start using it. It's that simple. Do you know what controls the microphone? The app. How? Wirelessly. Wirelessly. Uh, how does the audio being recorded? With a microphone. With the microphone, but where is it being? <laughs> where is it recorded to? Oh, the memory of the mic. <laughs> okay, so the mic has a memory. It has its own memory. Don't don't get confused. It's not a Bluetooth microphone. Uh, the audio is being recorded to the memory of the microphone and there's no latency, there's no dropouts, like with the Bluetooth or RF microphones. So that's a very cool feature. It's alive. It's it, alive, it, it has, has memory. <laughs> it has memory, it remembers Hi. everything. <laughs> so after the recording, Audigo automatically transfers and synchronizes the audio uh, wirelessly to the iPhone app using the mic's own Wi-Fi if you are outdoors or through your home or uh, office network. Okay, now the coolest part. Let's say if you are uh, <laughs> working on a song and you want to invite someone to collaborate with you on the project. All they need is this microphone and an account on Audigo. <laughs> <laughs> so when you send the invite and they accept it, your project shows up on their app immediately. And as soon as they record something, it shows up on your screen. Mm -hmm. And right when you record something, it shows up on their screen. How cool is that? So the app is an actual multi-track recorder and a video recorder that allows you to record video and audio using this microphone, but we'll get into the video part in a second. So as I said earlier, we have a performance video so you guys can see how the mic was being used and how it sounds on different instruments. And we also collaborated with other musicians. So after watching other creators on YouTube or Instagram using the microphone, I only saw single instruments like acoustic guitar, saxophone or singing. But I wanted to see if it can handle like a bass cap or a guitar cap or piano. And most importantly, how it's going to sound in the final mix if I put them together. And I think it handled it very, very well. You'll see it in a second. So I wrote a small composition and I used this microphone on every single instrument. So the first thing I did is I sent an invite to my friend Derek, who lives in LA and who's an incredible drummer and percussionist. He played uh, cajon, uh, tambourine and shaker. It was so easy to record everything and get the work done fast. And the next thing is uh, uh, I grabbed the microphone and my cell phone and I went to my friend Bill's house, Bill's studio in, in Las Vegas. Bill is a great piano player. And we recorded the piano just with this microphone and with the cell phone. That's how cool it is. Let's check out the video and okay. then you'll explain how the microphone works. Okay, let's check out the video.
Alright, let's talk about the video part of it, because Audigo is also a video recorder. Let's say you want to capture your performance on the video, let's say you play guitar and sing, or you know, you, you are making content for YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, whatever. All you need is just this microphone and your cell phone, that's it. You put the cell phone on the tripod, connect the microphone, place it wherever you want, and you're good to go. And that's exactly what I did for Bill, for, uh, for the piano player. And yeah, it sounded great. Let's check out the video. Okay, now it's your favorite part. Uh, I'm gonna go through the mic specs. I know you like like technical stuff because it's gonna be boring for you. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, mid side condenser stereo pair. Uh, stereo width can be adjusted in the app after recording as the mic captures sound from both mid and side mic capsules automatically. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I was zoning out. <laughs> Audio specs, 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, uh, from 20 to 20 kilohertz. Maximum SPL is 120 dBs. It handled the bass cap, so... 40 hours of WAV files saved into internal memory in the mic itself. Rechargeable battery lasts up to 6 hours. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> it is. Isn't it bright? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the app and how to control the microphone with the app, okay? First, we need to go to Audigo app. These are my projects. And then you press the plus sign to create a new project. And then you press the button on the microphone to connect it, to turn it on. Now it's connected to the app. So the first cool thing is uh, that you can import an audio track from your music library or your file system. Let's say you want to record something over a backing track. You can always do that. Uh, you can do the sound check and control the gain of the microphone, as you can see. Check, check. All right. You hit done. And this is the video recorder that I was talking about. You click on the video. And now it's a video recorder. You can see yourself. <laughs> see? <laughs> there you go. Okay, now it's ready to be used. So let's actually record something. Um, so you can click on the project name, rename the project. Let's say we want to call it Ellen's new song. And then you can turn the metronome on. Done. And then this is where you invite the collaborators. So see, invite collaborators, you click on it, type in their email that uh, that was used. Uh, to for, in the Arigo app? Yeah, in the Arigo app, that's correct. And then they need to accept it and then uh, you guys can... Basically their profile name? Uh, their email address, not the profile name. And you click done. Not, there is a metronome sign on the top right corner. You can turn it on and turn it off. And now we can record something. Let's start with the claps. Okay. That was loud. Perfect. 
we recorded something. Yay, it trans yeah. the see see how it transferred the files from the microphone to the app. New song. Now you have one uh, you have track one. Now let's record the second track. I'll do some uh, hi hats with my mouth. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> no, that should be enough. They got the idea. So see, the, now you now you have two tracks. Let me see. Can uh, you hear? Now let's hear it. <laughs> New song. Yeah. See how cool it is. Okay. Now let's dive into the coolest part. You go to the edit. Now where the fun begins. See, you can select your tracks. Let's say the first track is the clap. You can add reverb to the clap. Okay. <laughs> and you can adjust the stereo width, the reverb amount. Oh. You can also do the EQ. I know what stereo is. It's when you hear it from both sides. Right. That's correct. And you can play with the EQ and get your desired sound. And then these are the volumes. So you can adjust, basically mix it on the fly. You adjust the volume, get the right balance. And then you can either uh, mix down as a multi-track. Let's say if you want to mix it later in the... Uh, in in a DAW like Pro Tools or Logic or whatever you use, or you can just mix down as a WAV file. Or if you recorded the video, you can actually export the video as M4A. I believe that's what it is for. So uh, that's pretty much it. I don't. I think I didn't forget anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very cool invention. I like cool inventions. And, and actually, the guy who invented this thing uh, is a fellow Armenian, and I'm helping him with uh, with lots of feedbacks and suggestions for the future updates. So uh, I'm very excited and very proud of him that he came up with this idea. So I'm pretty sure if you get one, you're going to be uh, very happy with it. Um, that's it for today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, like, and share the video so you know. Share the video so others can see it. <laughs> right. I mixed up the notification bell and the share button. Yeah. <laughs> and, and hit the notification bell so you know when we post a new video. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Also, huge thanks to our supporters in Patreon. You guys are amazing. You guys do a lot. And uh, you guys help us basically continue to do what we love doing, making videos and making music and inspiring other people so thank you thank you very much finally we'll see you in the next video finally bye <laughs> <laughs> peace